Thirdly, uh, Malika says that what is the ruling on washing the thob that was licked by a dog? The hadith that refers to this in the sunnah relates to licking utensils. The Prophet said, If the dog were to lick in the pot, in the uh, uh, um, vessel, in the plate of one of you, he should wash it seven times. In a narration, eight times. One of them, in a narration, the first one of them is by soil. So this is the hardest and most extreme form of impurity. Urine, if it's, it falls on my thobe, all I have to do is wash that spot once or twice until the urine is gone. That's it. This is normal najasa. Any impurity is done likewise. With the dog in, this, in the pot or in the vessel on the plate, it has to be washed, first of all, with soil, sand from the, th from the ground, and then eight or seven times with water, seven times. Now, what happens if I'm walking and a dog comes and sniffs my trousers or licks my trousers or my thobe or my abaya, etc.? Some scholars say you have to do the seven times plus the soiling, even with your clothes. And this is the madhab of the Hanbali school of thought, but this is a weak opinion. The most authentic opinion is that soiling and washing seven times is only for utensils that we eat in. The clothes are washed normally and Allah knows best.